Yabba Sellers, Y-A-V-E-S Sellers. I got some, uh, I got some very legendary guests in the studio. This is a legendary uh, show to me. This is my first time. And it's live right here. You know what I mean? It's a lot of pressure right now. It is. A lot of pressure right now. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and kind of introduce the people that I have in the studio with me today so y'all can kind of know who is here with me. Um, got my homeboy Drew handling the board. Shout out to Drew. And uh, I'm going to start to my left to the Mr. Legendary Granville Waiters. Former Chicago Bull, now is assistant coach over at East High School, right? That's right. Say hello to the people. Y'all hear that voice? You got that, that deep bravado all day. I'm glad all to have right. you on, man. I've, I've heard stories about you since I was a younger, man. So uh -oh. to see you, man, he like he like eight foot tall in person. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like five foot even. I heard stories, too. You know what I mean? He, he, he kind of walked into the studio. I got a little nervous. All right, good to be here. Glad to hear you. Also, I got um Miss McKee and Nylea. She's a community activist. Say, say what's up to people, McKee. What up, Columbus? You glad to be here tonight? I'm absolutely Right here's a new era that we bringing into the city. We're gonna have a yeah, ball ready. Ready. Yeah, to that. Okay. We the gang. Dream catches, clean shot. Oh, uh, levels on my mic, right? Oh, uh, levels on my life, right? We talked about the implications that it could have on education. Because if a state does decide to remove itself from the United States, then they lose, you know, Medicare. Uh, social security, disability, as well as your federal loans and student aid. And I know this week we got uh, report cards coming out. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, mm -hmm. that's a huge that's a huge little issue right there because some of the kids out there listening know that either uh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble when that report card drop or I mean, it's going to be rooting this education in the scheme of things. Oh, it's it's at the top of my list. Definitely. I mean, uh, growing up, mm -hmm. we always heard, oh, you, you're our future. Right. And we hear that in written didn't really understand it, but yeah. of course I understand it a lot more now. Mm -hmm. and, and our young people need a lot of help. Definitely. A lot of help. And it's and it's a holistic piece. Yeah. You know, I've, I've heard forums, I've been in forums, or you've got educated people sitting around the table and you got one person fussing at all its single right. parent family, the other one's the education system, and somebody else is, you know, fussing about something else. Right. Uh, when in essence, it's it's all these things that, that need to be looked at. You Definitely. Know, from the governmental side, local side. And uh, the teachers, they, they need help. They're dealing with a different student today right. than it was when I went to school. Right. I couldn't say we, because you and I are a little far apart. <laughs> but uh, it's, 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 a, yeah, it's a different day. Thank you for your service. Much But the you know the education that was uh, I like that because mm -hmm. it was it was um, got great insight from everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Just good, good diversity. Yeah, exactly. Education and health is on the top of my list. Yeah. Okay. yeah.